Making Crossword Puzzles Using Microsoft Excel 2007 by Teresa Heithouse. I'm going to create a crossword puzzle which is five down and five across and I'm highlighting that area right now on the field. I am going to insert borders on both the inside and the outside and then I will increase the font to size 20 making certain to center the wording. Next I will highlight the boxes going down. This is the width and I'm going to reduce it to 40 pixels. This is formatting the box size. Next I will go to the height and I will now increase this to 40 pixels. I'm now ready to write my letters. So my first word will be nurse, my next one will be ED, after that rehab, and my final word for this little puzzle will be NICU. In the final box on the left, I'm going to fill it with black by using that tipped paint bucket. I'm a bit of a traditionalist, so I like it to look like a crossword puzzle with black, but you could use any color that you wish. There you go, it's beginning to take shape. I'm gonna add a number too, so I'm gonna press insert, press the text box, and then with my tool, I'm going to create a little text box within the letter N. I'm gonna reduce the font size to eight and type in the number one. Now you can notice that this actually has an outline on it. So to remove it, I'm gonna double click on there and I'm gonna click on shape outline and then click on no outline. You can see there is no outline. Now I'm going to add some text and this is for the clues. So I'm gonna go down and put one across inside the little text box. And this will say professional healthcare worker. For my clue going down, I will type out one down and that will say specialty care unit for infants. Now if I move my cursor off, all you'll see is a little red tab, but if I put my cursor just over the box, it will show the clue. Now I'm going to add a title, so I'm going to increase the size of the boxes in row 1. I'm going to increase the font size to 20, and I'm going to type out the words, sample, crossword. I'll also add some instructions. So I'm going to click on the H2 box, increase the font to 16, and I will type out the word instructions. On the next line, I will keep it at a font of 11, and I will write out one instruction. Now, see all these letters and numbers? I want to get rid of this when I save it, so I'm going to press View, and I'm going to unclick on Headings and Grid Lines. I'm also going to take that and put it in the first box. And now it's time to save. So I'm going to save it as an Excel workbook, 97 to 2003 template. The file name is going to be called Crossword Sample Puzzle. I'm going to save it to my desktop since I probably will have a little more work to do on this. And then I will save it. So this is what it looks like when it is an Excel template. And that's all you have to do.